What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to Odyssey. Let's continue on. Fresh vegetables for your journey. The juiciest and kefalonia. I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa. You think he could help us? I think he could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? I'm not scared of anything. That makes one of us. A very hungry one swims in our way of leaving Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. We get it, sell it, and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore. Near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the shark. Vegetable drachme is all right. But necklace drachme is best. If it's so valuable, why wouldn't I just keep it for myself? A good deed? A gesture of goodwill? An escape from our life of produce? It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, We'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. It's not this necklace, is it? I found it in the ruins of Krani. That's it? That's Procris's necklace. We can finally leave. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know nice. What that's like. Good luck. Well, that certainly worked out well. Had a feeling that would uh, come up later, but I don't remember ever seeing a shark. There was definitely no shark or anything. I just swam on in, was like, oh, necklace, neato, and then went on my way. Uh, and I haven't used abilities in a while, so let's go over and see. So there's Bull Rush, our levels. Assassination, knockout damage increased, automatically loot after. Yeah, that's like a just get it in advance. Um, melee weapons and standard arrows inflict poison damage for 15 seconds. The poison meter is full, and it's become intoxicated. Intoxication inflicts damage over time and weakens the damage and armor of the enemy. Requires no adrenaline. I like that a lot. But I know there's a fire one here. Let's see. Melee weapons inflict fire damage for 15 seconds. The meter is full, enemies start burning. Burning inflicts damage over time. So basically, I could get a damage over time or damage over time and weaken the damage and armor of enemies. I'm guessing it's weaker than fire, but venomous attack sounds really useful to me. So let's put that on B. And I am out of points after that. Predator shot will be good to pick up once I really start going after bases. So B will crouch down and then I'll put on my poison and yeah. I mean I know there's you get like multiple you get like a second tab of this later. So I kinda wanna have like one tab that's buffs and then one tab that's active. Ooh, this is the one from earlier. This is where I came earlier, but I died. Something that I'm not seeing, it's like right in there. Is this also part of it?
Wait, 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 wait. Just mm, mm. nightmare really is no joke. Like I, I'm doing damage, but at times I feel like I'm just instantly dying. So I still might just knock this down to hard. Just because like these guys, like I could understand when I was naked and it was level five wolf, but this seems a little bit excessive. You know, dude hit me like twice and I was gone. And I actually have armor now. I mean, I'm missing like. A helmet. And my armor is not the best, but still, these dudes got no business hitting me as hard as they are. Oh, who are these guys? Let's go this way. Finding lots of gear. Didn't I have some level 4 gear I picked up? Wasn't the chest? The the upgraded chest? Yeah. Put that on. And you are level 5. Cliff, this is a cliff. Okay. Whoa! Oh! oh, didn't do how I wanted. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Bah! We can do this all day. Sparta! Zeus, you should 
Sparta! Oh, what the man? Yo, that is. Mm mm. Mm mm. This is some bullshit. Fuck this. Guys, what do you think? I'm thinking. I'm thinking we bring this difficulty on down. I'm thinking the difficulty gets gets lowered a pinch. I mean, these guys are level four. You know, it shouldn't be. I'm level. F I'm also level four. The damage should be comparable, but instead, they're not even like breaking a sweat. Is this the... That's the dude? That's the bounty hunter dude. Yo, my stealth attack isn't going to do anything to him. completed. Bye. I don't need to fight all of you. Come on, what are you doing? Alexios, get out of here. Come on. I had to go for some cheeky shit to win there. Anybody that follows me all the way over here. Boom! That should... Damn, that's not enough to kill them? Yo. Like, come on, look at that. That's like, that's at least a 30-foot fall. And it's not even, like, I mean, at, at the bare minimum. You know, we're talking... No, nope, I'm out of here. I think... I think we should decrease the difficulty to hard. I don't know exactly what the difficulty does. I'm assuming it gives stuff more life. Or it gives them uh, passive damage reduction. I mean, all I'm going to say is I kicked those guys off cliffs. And they got up with about 25% of their health left. Now, they weren't giant cliffs. But... I mean, that was, without question, a 40-50 foot drop. Which, 40-50 feet while wearing armor like you hit the ground you're gonna be like a sack of fucking potatoes I I don't think uh, that's very fair what was I doing over here but you know what I'll let you guys decide that's that's the question for this episode is should we just reduce the combat to hard to make it more enjoyable because if every single fight is gonna be what you just saw with me having to like stealth kill two people and then basically running away you know i don't think that's going to be very fun or very entertaining how to go with marcos how it always goes i didn't get my money and i'm running another errand for him why do you let him boss you around i owe him a debt from the past oh did you borrow vrachmi not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People that are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. 
Oh. All right. I'll look into it. Eh? Is he maybe more? Oh. Eye for an eye. Oh, it's the Marcos quest. We'll do that later. Oh, like, look at that. I mean, these guys are level four. And, oh my god, look at that. This is, no, man, they're, mm. Like, maybe, maybe having a full set of, like, blue or higher quality armor will drastically change things. I don't think it will. I think on Nightmare, it's just damage is scaled to absurd levels. Mercenary dude is close. You know what? Instead of doing a uh, blood fever, let's try and take this bad boy out. We're gonna try. He he will be the baseline for this difficulty. He's considered a uh, a powerful enemy. He's one level above me. You can see my headshots are basically tickling him. Trying to kite him up to a uh, a ledge. Yep, come on this way. Come this way. Come this way. Uh, could be higher, but. Oh, only half my health. The single arrow. Yeah, that's normal. That's an unblockable attack. Bounty Hunter, one level above me. Half my health with a single arrow. Half my health with one swing. I mean, like, I like it. I like difficulty, obviously, but I mean, fuck, man. Even Dark Souls isn't punishing like this. This just seems excessive. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh,. Seeing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. We're going to uh, main menu. We're gonna go options. Tweak primate. This will tweak enemy health and damage as well as their overall challenge in the fight. All right. So yeah, difficulty does have an impact on damage and health. So let's go down to hard and hopefully we're not suddenly getting one shot and enemies are surviving being kicked off of cliffs. Because that doesn't make for a fun game. But we'll head on over. We will do Phoebe's quest since we... Actually, is this guy still here? You know what? This is perfect. I just changed difficulty. So now we can fight him again and basically gauge uh, how strong he is in comparison. It's not much, but we are doing a bit more uh, than we were before. That's huge! That attack instant give me before. Wow. 
His health is still absurd, but... Previously, that stuff would... It, I would that stuff literally killed me before. That is silly. Not think the difference between uh, nightmare and hard was so steep, but yeah, hard seems a lot more kind of what I would expect. Here's a good cliff to knock his ass off. This seems a lot more along the lines of like I can, you know, take a couple hits. I still gotta hit hit really hard to take him out. Over here, where is he going? What are you doing, dude? Get back here. Come on. Come this way. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. You want to come over here, Talos? That makes sense to me. If I hit you off a cliff, like that, this was let's see, realistically, we're gonna we're gonna measure it by Alexios. So let's say Alexios is six foot, so we're six foot here, and uh, going downward. So that's probably about another six foot right here. So that's like twelve where his hands are at, and then that's two hops. So that's like eighteen. And then two more hops down. There's like 24. And where where's that body? Where's the body at? <laughs> Basically, it was like a 25 foot drop from up top onto his head. And um, I don't I don't actually see the body now. But the point is, you know, people shouldn't survive that anyway. And so, oh wow, is this? No, that's not it. Where, where the hell is his body? Where the hell is his body? How did I move? I was so busy measuring uh, Alexios's for distance. <laughs> we were up here, and I gave him the boot. He went blah blah. Is there a kind of reload save? A reload? Can I reload? Day at 5:15. That was. I don't know if this was when I killed him or not, but we're gonna we're gonna load. Cause I'm assuming he has like good loot and shit on his body, you know. It's right I think this might be right after I killed him. Yeah, but the body is there. I don't know why the body wasn't there last time. Maybe I just overlooked it. Arena Invitation Warrior. The Peck Pet Arena is the most competitive arena in the world. See, that's more like it. Look, you had a mercenary breastplate. All kinds of goodies. Glad I didn't miss out. What you get, punk bitch. So yeah, I, I think hard is good. If you guys don't want me playing on hard... Feel free to let me know, but after seeing the difference, like the earlier people surviving 40 foot drops, like, I, you know, it's just, I'm like, eh, eh, it's not a fan. Not a fan. If the gods won't help you, the sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. You burned the whole village? 
Many nights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. But I don't know anything about the plague. <sighs> there is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him. Have pity. We aren't even that sick. We'll get better. Nobody gets better. This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination. Please. We have children. Think of them. Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. I mean... Mm. If there is a plague, you know, you gotta... And they said we're not that sick, but they are sick. They are infected. But he could let them live out their days here. But if the plague spreads, does that mean it's my fault? <sighs> Oof. Um. Let them go. What? You're no god. We'll see what they have to say. You're a hero. That priest came from the underworld, some man of the gods. <sighs> the real gods sent you. Time to go. We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Forget about that. Just travel safely. You're a gift from the gods, Eagle Bearer. I hope they bless you. Bye, Kina. Be safe. All right, this is going down one of two ways. Either I find them in a city later and they remember me for everything I did and give me some badass stuff, or I just spread a plague to a populace. <laughs> I don't know which, but we're gonna find out. Uh, eye for an eye, hungry gods, and the footsteps of gods, undiscovered location, lumberyard stuff. Let's go, well, let's go here. And then, um, oh, hang on. we'll go here, and then we're going to knock out those side quests and finish exploring this island in the next part. Um, for those curious, I mean, a lot of people are probably going to be like, you know, please continue the story. But as far as I'm concerned, this game is huge, guys. It's it, This is going to fall into the same realm as The Witcher. We're looking at probably a 100-plus episode Let's Play. Um, I don't know if I'll keep up with three episodes per day forever, but for now, at least, I will. Um, but, you know, and kind of related to that, there's no rush here. This isn't the kind of game that you guys need to walk through for. It's, it's pretty straightforward. You can play it on easy and get through it. So this is going to be more about me just enjoying the journey and having you along for that journey if you want to join. So anyway, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate all the support. New episode in the morning, kicking things off at 6. And with that being said, we will catch you guys then with more Assassin's Creed Odyssey.